I've spent the last probably three or four months thinking about this video. I've actually attempted to record it three times. So this is the fourth time that I'm going to record this video. I wanted to talk about the best teaching style. And um, when I started this career 27 years ago, I suffered from confirmation bias like a lot of people do, which is I thought that my teaching style was the best teaching style. And over the last 27 years, I've learned so much and uh, I understand now that that was wrong completely. Uh, my teaching style works very well for me. I've seen introverts like myself succeed. I've seen extroverts. I've seen people who are great entertainers who could do stand-up comedy as a career if they wanted to. I've seen teachers that uh, you would consider fairly boring, um, very dry. I've seen strict teachers. I've seen laissez-faire teachers. Um, really depends on your personality, which is the best teaching style is the one that fits your personality to where you're having fun and the students are having fun. And as long as you're able to manage the classroom and get uh, buy-in from the students, that is the best teaching style. Whatever fits your personality, don't try to be somebody else. If you have a mentor teacher whose personality doesn't fit yours, um, open up the lines of communication, talk to them and let them know you need to be you. Um, that is the, the absolute best teaching style is the one where you're being yourself. Don't try to be other people. Now, having said that, I think it's a great idea to go into other classrooms, get ideas and steal ideas. Teachers are thieves. We steal ideas from other teachers all the time. So pick up on things from other classrooms, um, go and observe other teachers and incorporate some of the things that they do. But the best teaching style is the one that fits your personality. Uh, the key is don't cross any lines. If you make mistakes, keep them small, be transparent with administration, let them know if you've made mistakes and correct them and um, build those relationships with the students. If you're building relations with relationships with students, you can do that as an introvert, as an extrovert, as somebody who's very high charisma and an entertainer, as somebody who is fairly dry, um, as a strict teacher and as a laissez-faire teacher. I think the group that takes the biggest rap on this are strict teachers. There are a number of teachers who um, believe that relationship building means not being strict. There's nothing that could be further from the truth than that, which is I'm a fairly strict teacher, but I have incredible relationships with my students because they know I'm the adult in the room. What I am is fair. I treat everybody equally and um, I build incredible relationships with the students. So there are a number of teachers out there that um, seem to have, I see this on social media a lot, where I see teachers in chat rooms talking about um, that's too mean or whatever the issue is, um, too strict, um, I, I don't believe in uh, whatever. When you start putting your personal values in a classroom, that's fine, as long as you're not crossing any lines. But telling other teachers how to teach, if they're getting the test results they're looking for and are managing the classroom effectively, um, whatever their style is, if they're strict, they're strict. Uh, they, you'll, you'll find some of those strict teachers are very, very well respected. Look at the teachers of the year. Right? Look at your school's teachers of the year for the last couple of decades, and you will see a very, very diverse group of people. Um, the things you'll see they have in common are they have good uh, good results, they have good classroom management, and they build relationships with students. You can do that with a number of different personality types. Hope this helps give you some ideas. Hope this validates how you're teaching currently. Have a, a great school year and keep being heroes.